So there's this prankster, Itzaria, I-T-Z-A-R-Y-A. And uh, he, he goes around doing what, what would seem like harmless, innocuous pranks, but they're not because they are indicative of a much larger problem. You see, he's pretty famous for a prank in which he goes to London and he splashes water on people's faces. Now, I'm going to give you a moment. See if you, you already make the connection. And then, then I'll tell you why it's a problem. Okay, so... I'm going to bring it back a little. Here in the United States, we live in the uh, best nation on the planet. Now, some might argue different, but I, I will give you at least one reason today why I'm right and you're wrong. And here it is. There was one. One acid attack in the United States. Now, people talk about gun violence and how the NRA is the problem and all that. That's a pretty big debate right now, the gun debate. But in New York, arguably, the one of the biggest and most important cities on the planet, one acid attack. Now, let's go to London where Itzaria splashes water on people's faces. I don't know if you can see this necessarily, but this big bar right here, that's 2017. That bar represents how many acid attacks they had in London in 2017. You should take a guess at how many, because you won't get it compared to New York's one acid attack. 465. 465 acid attacks in London in 2017. Now, I don't want to necessarily cast aspersions on a certain group of people, but it does seem odd that a culture that, that kind of enjoys the infamy of acid attacks has famously infiltrated the city of London, and now acid attacks are suddenly a big deal there. I mean, of course, they've got concert bombings and subway bombings and that truck attack on the bridge, on the London Bridge last year as well. Okay, um, the simple fact is Mayor Sadiq Khan, he likes to say that these sorts of things are part and parcel of living in a big city, and we simply need to get used to it and be more vigilant. Well, if that were the case, we wouldn't have just one acid attack in New York. In fact, I don't think that in the past 10 years, the United States as a whole could catch up to London's 2017. And this isn't necessarily an anomalous either. It's indicative of a larger trend because if we look back at 2016, well, that's 395 acid attacks in one year in just the city of London. Sadiq Khan, who has pushed laws that were um, notably Sharia friendly, and you can go research those yourself. I encourage you to get on Google and search Sadiq Khan Sharia friendly laws. But just know that this is kind of an Islam thing, throwing acid in women's faces. A guy goes up to a girl. He asks her, hey, you want to go out on a date? She says, I've got a boyfriend. He throws acid in her face. Th this happens on this it's Aria video as well. He sits down beside a girl at a bus stop and he asks her if she'd like to go out on a date and she says that she has a boyfriend and he throws the water in her face. Does that mean I can go running into schools now with 
an AR-15, but because I don't shoot somebody, then it's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank, bro. No. This is indicative of a larger problem. And while we recognize the problem of gun violence in the United States, though different groups of people rec recognize different reasons for the uh, gun violence, Personally, I think it's gun control causing it as, you know, you look at Chicago and other cities with heavy gun control and you realize that those cities hold the top spots for gun violence every single year. An armed society is a polite society. But here in London, where they've had gun control for years, um, people are getting acid thrown in their faces. There's always something, and evil will always find a way. I just think it's interesting that we are willing to go after one issue and then turn our backs when another issue comes. Now, that's pretty much all I've got for that. I am curious as to... What you think of this? Did you know that there were acid attacks in London? Did you know that there were 465 just last year? However many this year, I wonder if they're going to beat the record. Is that what they're trying for? Is that why Sadiq Khan is being so Sharia friendly? Who knows? I know this. We're trying to fix our gun problem. Um, again, the left is doing it the wrong way, but... We're trying. Is London trying or is it just part and parcel of living in a big city that is not in America? If you liked this video, please hit that button down below. Uh, you can also hit my watermark and uh, subscribe to my channel. That would help me a lot. In the meantime, Get in the comments section and tear it up. I'd like to know what you think. Bye.